Cody Steele in the blue, Andy Varela in the red. Quarterfinal match number one. Cody, you ready? Cody, you ready? Hey! Again, Steele in the blue, Varela in the red. Strategies for the tournament. We're going to have to see as this goes on. I will predict that a strategy for the turn. All right, here we got a double leg. Up he goes. What goes up must come down. Big double leg. He's looking to clear all the way. Boy, this is high pace. This is high pace. We are 30 seconds into this match. We got about two minutes of action already. Here's a guillotine attempt. Arm and guillotine, it all comes down to that left arm. Is that left arm deep enough? It sure looks deep from where I'm sitting. Varela's looking to find this. It all comes down to the left arm. Now, Cody Steele looks like he's pretty composed. He's doing a good job of staying on that hip. Notice Steele's left arm, that elbow. If you see that elbow, the further he pushes that elbow out, the more he can loosen the grip of Varela. Still doing a real good job of just staying composed here. He's on his hip. That's good. He does not want to jump up and be on his knees. He's not in a great position here, but for what he's dealing with, good. Steel is out. Stays composed. Guys, what I was going to talk about is the strategies of a tournament are different. Now, I can't begin to tell you what these athlete strategies are going to be, but I could hypothesize, okay? You want to get out of there as quickly as you can. Now, what does that mean? Don't you want to do that every time? Well, yeah, but it's a little bit more urgency on a tournament. And I can tell you, having been to 14 other submission undergrounds, the tension in the back is very light. There is very little. These guys are having fun. It's about competition. You do your best to win, but you shake hands and keep your head up either way. It's a little different than MMA. The lows aren't quite as It's just different, guys. The tension in the back here with what is on the line in this tournament, a shot at a main event, a shot to take on Craig Jones to be the first ever submission underground champion. You've also got the prize money. It is very hard to make a star. I think you would agree as the viewer. It's just a hard thing to do. It just simply takes time. Three matches, all wins, could do it. But that generally would take a year to 15 months to even get those three matches. Somebody will get three matches and three wins tonight. A star will come out of this tournament tonight with faces and names that possibly you never even heard. By the end of the evening, you will know exactly who they are. Varela on top, Steele on the bottom. Steele's being very composed. Now, when we do talk about strategy, Steele could perhaps play in a different game. Many guys will look for submissions within regulation, and many guys will look to get to the overtime where the game part starts to come in. Varela doing a good job with pressure. He is just simply not letting up here. Notice Varela's posture. He's all the way out. See how he's back on the other side of the knee? I understand he's not sitting upright all the way, but he is there. He's far enough separation. The separation is a very interesting deal. Think of you guys at home. Imagine I challenge you to a fight right now. You go, well, Shale, I don't want to fight you. You've got more experience than this. Okay, great. But how worried do you really have to be? If you're at home and I'm here, I mean, do you understand what I mean? By, by space. Space is everything. So the question, how much space do you need? Do you need to be on the other side of the, the world to be safe? No, not really. You just need to be out of arm's reach. Now Varela's is starting to bring his head down. Now the game can start to begin a little bit more. Offensively and defensively. Regulation time. I'm looking at guys. We've got 60 seconds, under 60 seconds. There is something to Steele's body language here that tells me he, he's playing a different game. I'm guessing we're going to find out in 35 seconds should that elapse without a submission taking place when we go into the overtime. But there is something about Steele that does not look discouraged or bothered by what he's feeling. 
And most of you at home are looking going, well, Varela's controlling the match. Yeah, I agree with you. That, oh, here we go. Okay, I thought. Oh, I'm in. Oh, I'm into it. Look at that. That was great. That was great. Varela just Showtime Pettis off the cage in a grappling match. That wasn't the Showtime kick. That was the Showtime flip. I have to tell you, under a points scoring system, that could be very effective for passing guard. In a situation like this, though, to finish the thought I had a moment ago, guys, is everything is equal. There are no points. Those last five minutes essentially did not happen except for one question, which is who used more energy? Whoever used more energy in many ways has lost when you go into this overtime situation. Go! All right, Varela wins the toss. He chooses back control. Now, don't forget, there's two different strategies here. First off, Varela would like to submit Steele. That would give him an advantage. Of course, Steele would then get his opportunity to submit Varela. But Varela also ah! wants to stay on top. Steele is out. Relatively quickly, I have no stopwatch on this. The timekeeper is in a different room. Calculates all of this. You guys ready? Go! We all find out together. All right, here's Steele's first attempt at offense. This is Steele's first offensive position in this match. Well, when he comes right to a body triangle. Now, Varela's going to be out. If, if Varela can change his position, getting both shoulders to the mat is one way to do it. The referee will rule that. A loss of control by Steele. Which will stop the clock, which is the other thing Varela's got to deal with. Varela now on defense for the first time in this match. Not only has to worry about being choked, but he has to get those hips free and escape. Boy, Steele's doing a good job. Steele's doing a very good job. This choke looks to me like a little more of a distraction. But distracting your opponent in overtime. Okay, I think that I think that, that is an escape. Not just yet. Steele comes on top. Boy, this is close. No, Steele's regained this position. Oh, that was very interesting how he did that. He floated his hips around. It looked like Varela was out. Steele floated his hips around. Notice what Steele is doing, guys. First off, he has the body triangle. That is a very, very tight proposition to find a way to escape a body triangle. There are techniques out there to do it. We saw a tap. This match is over. Andy Varela controlled that match. By my eyes, he controlled that match in regulation. Steele changed strategies. Decided to get into the overtime. Wow, that was, that was a very clever game plan. And it was very impressive to watch Steele change strategies during the match. Look to get out of regulation. Guys, let's throw this to ring announcer Kevin Keeney and make this official. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner by submission at 1 minute 17 seconds in the bottom half of the first overtime round, Cody Steele.